Welcome back, everybody. Well, our finance whiz, Rubina, is here, and she's going to put us through a very interesting money lesson. Everyone, please say hello to Rubina. Hello. Hi, Rubina. Well, I kind of thought it was an interesting spin. We gotta figure out how well, well we can not pay our bills on time <laughs> and get away with this. Well, there are months, as you guys know, any yes. given month where there might be a time where you just don't have enough money to pay all your bills. Right. And you're faced with this I, uh, this thought that, I, um, what am I gonna let slide? That's right. And what am I going to pay on time? Now, there's right. always penalties, always. Of but course. There's some of these bills will have fewer penalties than others, right? So that's what you kinda wanna look at, right? We wanna prioritize our bills in how can we have the least amount of consequences on our credit health? So where will it least affect our credit score and how can we incur the least amount of minimum payments if you have to go through this situation so okay. we're going to do a little pop quiz and okay. we want the audience's help as well and i'm going to give you some typical monthly bills and you guys are going to decide should we let it slide or should we pay it on time okay okay, okay. All right. so the first one is the cable bill cable what do you guys bill. think let okay cable pay on time let it slide let it slide, slide. Yeah. Why do you say let it slide? Because if they turn off the cable, it's the TV. Oh, what am I thinking? Pay on time. <laughs> <laughs> we need TV. <laughs> let it slide, okay? Yeah. Okay, and this one, you know, those pesky 19% credit cards. Pay, on, pay time. on time or let it slide. Everybody's saying pay on time. Say 100%. This is the one sometimes you let go, though, and that yours, everybody agrees with that one. Okay, okay. very okay. good. All right. And gym fees. I mean, it's really important to stay healthy, but should let we slide. let it slide or should we pay it on time? Slide. Slide. Let it slide? Uh, Ooh, I don't know about gyms. I don't know. What I've heard the rumors that say? Slide? Slide. slide? But I've heard that gyms can be real tricky too. Okay, well, let's, let's slide. Really? Okay, okay so we did only. well. We did well. We got two out of three. So the cable bill, we have to actually pay it on time. I'll explain why all of these, because it's I not, thought the gym one would be the serious one. These wow. people will hunt you down, and they're all buffs. <laughs> they're gonna beat you they're up. They're gonna beat you up. So the gym <laughs> fees, when you sign up for a 12-month contract, you're basically telling that gym, I'm gonna be coming for the next 12 months. Right. You can call them. You don't even need to tell them you're having money problems. Just say, can you put my membership on hold? You're not breaking the contract. You're not getting out of the agreement. They're still going to get their money, because that's what they care about. Right. And you're going to put yourself into a position where you have a little bit of extra cash. Oh, okay. So that's, that's a good one, so right, to think about. Say, okay. Just say, can you can put you my gym this? membership on hold? Great. Credit cards, I'm really happy that everyone said pay on time. This is what affects your credit rating more than anything else. Right. If you miss your payments or make late payments, when I went for my mortgage two years ago on the house I own now, they had a, they had a note there saying I made a late payment back in 2006. You're kidding. Wow. So, and I find myself, I think I'm a very responsible person. I pay my bills on time. I made a mistake once. And it's on your, it's on Six your, to seven uh, years. It's well, on I can't even report. imagine how many are on mine. Wow. <laughs> and then cable bill. And cable bill, another one where you are always paying prorated. So right now for this month, you're going to be paying for next month's service. If you don't make that payment, they will cut your service off. So what's going to happen is you might have to pay a fee to connect your cable or internet or cell phone again, right. and some late fees as well because you paid late. And they also might send a note to the credit bureau saying you haven't paid your bill on time. That's where the trouble starts, right credit there. Exactly. Yes. Credit rating. Okay. Yeah. So the next three we have. Okay. Okay, so the next one is utility bills. So gas, water, hydro. Pay on time or let it oh, slide? Everyone's saying pay on time. I know somebody who actually got their oh, yeah. they got their, their uh, water cut off at one yes. point. Had, didn't, have a, didn't have a hot That's bath. not a good feeling yeah. at so, all, is it? Okay. And it was in a month, so. This is one, and this one I just bothers me so much. Parking tickets. Oh, slide. Should we pay it on time oh, or let it slide? slide. I'm now, going with let it slide because I got about 60 at home. Remember, when we're, we're talking about letting it slide or paying it on time, it's about consequences. So it's not necessary, is it an important thing in your life? It's about where will you suffer the most consequences on your credit health. Right. So think about that. And this one, personal loan. So a loan you just took from a relative or a friend. Oh, so let, let it slide. Let it slide, slide their family, right? Yeah, let it slide. I let it slide right on over yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> oh, it slid off. For a while. Okay, so <laughs> let it slide. Again, we did well, but utility bills, you can let slide. And I will explain what I mean by this. Parking ticket, you must must. I actually say pay this right away. Do not really? let this slide. The reason is, and this happened to me, you get your parking ticket, right? You go into your car, you throw it in the glove box, you forget about it. Yeah. And that parking ticket, my $40 parking ticket ballooned to $300 in a year because I forgot about it. It went through a legal process. There's all these admin fees and legal fees. I couldn't renew my vehicle registration. I've got to go. So, i got to make a call. <laughs> pay this on time. It's, it's more that the $40 or the $30 
it will balloon to so much more money. It's just not worth it. Just right. pay it on time. All right. So utility bills, now really all across North America, no one's going to cut your service off in a month. If you are having problems paying your bills, call your company, let them know that you're having problems and tell them you'll make the late payment fee and that means that you'll pay a little bit extra, but they, you, they know you're having problems and they're not going to cut your service and off. And they're not going to also, I guess, report you to, uh, the, credit to the credit bureau. Exactly. Can you have that conversation? I guess you should have that conversation with them. I, my, I'm going to do this, um, you're going to let me do this, but mm -hmm. will you report me? Should you say that and state that Absolutely. to make sure? Be transparent about yes. your situation, about what they're going to do to you, because you want to know about what's happening with your credit health. Right. And personal loan, I mean, let it slide, but treat this one with the most amount of sensitivity. It's your friend. It's yes. your relative. I actually have a relative in the audience who I owe money to right now. Oh, really? <laughs> I want to know. There we go. Let it slide. Remember what I said? Put it right on top. But your, yeah. your, fr Put it your right family up there. Yeah. friend is right not there. going to report you to the credit bureau. And they're not going to, you know, send collection agencies after you. Any good friend will say, you know what, if you need some extra time, make sure that you pay me next month. But that's no problem at all. Well, all right, stick around because we're going to commercial, right? And we're There's going to be more. More pop quiz coming up. We're going to talk about rent and mortgage. Which one can you let slide and which one do you have to pay on time? You guys are going to be really surprised. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let it slide. Personal loan. <laughs> <laughs> back with our finance with Rubina, and now we're going to be talking about uh, what it means if you let your rent or mortgage slide. Okay. Uh -oh. These right? are the two payments that all of us make because we all need to live somewhere. So most of us either have rent or we have mortgage, right? Yes. So I'm going to ask you guys and the audience, of course, which one of these can you let slide and which one do you have to pay on okay, time? Let's start with rent. So let it slide or pay on time? Pay on time? Slide. 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 No one's actually saying, let it slide. Okay, let it slide. I, let it slide. Sure. Well, slide. And, slide. and mortgage, let it slide on or time. pay on Are you time. sure I can't pay it? Let it slide to every, let it slide? No. no. I feel like you want the prices right. Just help me. <laughs> Someone help me. Bob is going to get mad. Let it slide. Let pay, on let's, time. pay on time. Pay on time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are we all comfortable with these answers? Yes, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little switcheroo. Really? What? Yeah. So, and there's a there's wow. a good reason for this. The reason you want to pay your rent on time is the rules are really in favor of the tenant unless they don't pay their rent on time. As soon as you don't pay your rent on time, your landlord can move towards eviction the next day. Wow. Now, I'm not saying you're going to be out on the street within 24 hours or even a month, but you might have to deal with some legal paperwork. You might have to deal with the fact that your landlord is giving you unnecessary calls throughout the month. And if you ever want to move to a bigger and better place, that landlord's not going to give you a good reference. And so it's all about the That's reference good. there as well. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. And if you have a problem in your apartment, like your fridge is broken or the heating's not working, this becomes number one. Well, you haven't paid your rent, you know, yeah. so you really want to make sure you're up to date on your rent payments. Brilliant. Okay, mortgage, let it slide. How let long slide. and how? But you have to do a little bit of work. It's not something you can just let it slide and not let your financial institution know. So you gotta know. go buy some flowers, some chocolates, <laughs> and bring it into your mortgage <laughs> some broker. Some wine, maybe, for yes. your banker. Yeah. No, you phone your bank and let them know, I'm having some financial problems. Right. And would you mind if I skipped a payment? The bank will still charge you interest. The bank will still make you pay that money back. But what that means is it won't affect your credit score. They're not going to send a note to the credit bureau. And it's going to give you a little bit of extra time to get caught up on your mortgage payments. Right. So it's all about it's really important to phone them before it happens and not say, oh, I'm sorry, after the fact. Right. So this, I mean, this lesson is not about how to be a deadbeat and not pay your bills. This right. is more that one month where you can't pay all your bills. This is how you can prioritize to have the least amount of consequences. So your utility, your gym, a personal loan to your friend, mortgage, you still have to phone these people and say, right. and just be authentic, genuine, honest, because people really do appreciate that when you call them and say, I'm having problems. What can you do to help me? So okay. what advice can you give them in people in general who might be going through a rough time right now? Well, if you, especially if your credit score is something that's not the best right now, usually credit score is between 300 and 900 points. You always want to be on the higher level. So when you go for a car loan, you want, they want to say, ah, you're, you know, 850 points. You're a great person to lend money to. If you're having some problems and your credit score is not that great, what you want to do is start paying your bills on time. Right. You want to start paying them off as quickly as possible. And you want to build some credit history. A lot of people have moved to cash mm. because of the environment right now to save a little bit of money. That's a really good thing, and I believe in that. You know, once it's out of your pocket, it's spent. But have something on your credit card so you can show, look, I'm a responsible person. So when you finally get into a situation and then everything's back into control, be really, really responsible because that's going to save you from what the damage has been done in the past. Exactly. And it doesn't mean, it's not something that lags on you forever. I mean, right. some things will, like I said with my uh, credit card,
card payment has stayed for six or seven years, but some things you can rectify very, very quickly. So it just means get on to that track of getting your bills in order and doing what's best for your credit health, and you're going to be just fine. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. This is great information. Thank you very much. You made it fun. I don't know if that was even possible, but <laughs> by making it a game. It's fun. Well, you made it a game for me, so then all of a sudden I feel like I'm having fun with this. Yeah. Okay, everybody, after the break, we have a fun gadget.